Hi guys, welcome yeah. back. <laughs> we are here in the kitchen and drum roll. We are gonna make eggnog. <laughs> and oh my god, this has got a bell. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so as you can see, we are definitely decked out and we Thanks are ready. Cheryl was not prepared this Christmas for it. We actually have never made eggnog before. Um, I only recently have tasted it and it was like store bought. So I, mean, I don't I even know what tasted it. You've never tasted it? No. Okay, so <laughs> um, we're basically not uh, experts in how this is actually gonna taste. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna figure it out. We're so gonna, we're gonna try a ting. We're gonna try a ting. We need first of all nutmeg. Wait, no. let me get the ingredients because I didn't even, I'm not gonna lie to you. I didn't even see the ingredients that we need. And before you guys judge me, I know that we need fresh nutmeg, but the store that I went to didn't have any. Um, so we're definitely gonna do, I just grabbed this. And we've got uh, ginger over here. Again, I know it's not fresh ingredients. We need milk. All right, this is what we need. We need some milk, three cups of milk. Milk. Six egg yolks. Do you know how to separate the, the yellow from the white? Cause I'll, I'll learn. I know. <laughs> oh yeah, heavy cream. This is all they had, guys. Do you know what? For some reason in Toronto, I can't find cream, proper cream in the stores. Cognac or brandy or rum. Boom. This was a whole situation, by the way, guys. A whole situation. Okay, so, Tell them the situation. right, I don't drink. And neither do I. So we were in there and we knew that we needed to get cognac, right? Now, cognac to me is a bottle and it says cognac on it, right? So I didn't know, we didn't know that cognac was a plethora of different things. So we were in there looking and the guy was like, the cognac's here and we're looking and going, but where is the well, cognac? Where, the where the is cognac? it? So you already know we're not drinkers, but apparently this is supposed to be a really good one and it's spice, they said spice rum, yeah. is a good mixer. Um, and so we are gonna try this. So yeah. this could get a bit, as none of us drink, this could get a bit, know. Yeah, we don't know what we're doing. I mean, someone somewhere is screaming over know, this and, and the rest of the, <laughs> the ingredients, but just bear with us. So whole milk, vanilla yep. extract. Yeah, baby. Boom. Uh, granulated sugar, one cup of granulated. One cup. One cup. That's diabetic, what? We'll enjoy it and you know we will. <laughs> <laughs> we literally bought some Starbucks before. And it was like the lady, which is my pet peeve when they forget to put the syrup in there. And I definitely was like, do you have any sugar? So we definitely went with like two or three scoops. I don't normally have sugar that way, um, but you know, this is, this is an emergency do? situation. What else do we need? Cinnamon. Cinnamon. Um, heaping cloves. Sorry. Okay, I saw that on the list and I thought, I don't want to heap and I don't want a clove. So we're not doing that. Right. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know what that was. I was like, so what I'm gonna do is ignore that. You know, because it's also about making it like your own, right? You have to make, you know, got your own the, situation. Yeah, this is Sherelle and Keisha stamp. Yes. Yeah. And we're the only ones tasting it. COVID eggnog. Uh, ew. <laughs> yeah. That sounds like something like yeah, snip up or something good. in a tissue. Ginger powder. Got that. Yep, yeah, got yeah, that. Yeah, got the ground nut made. Yeah. Um, got the cognac and the heavy cream. We've got everything. We've got everything we need. So I think we first start off with getting six eggs, to, uh, and it's the egg yolk. Oh, you could uh, separate it. Mm, I sent this to you. I mean, I'm okay. I mean, it's just separating, isn't it? Mm, sure. <laughs> Don't judge my egg cracking. As long as the egg gets in the bowl, it's fine. It's fine. I'm not an expert. I'm not a cook. Okay. So. One. Are you supposed to do it? Separate the egg from the oh. egg. You are. <laughs> okay, one minute. We'll be back. We're supposed to crack lightly, lightly, and separate the yolk from the. So can I just start do this? And I think it, the guy put it in his hands. So I basically went onto YouTube and kind of just saw what everyone was doing. But yeah, there we go. There we go. Boom. Now scoop it out. Yeah, get rid of that. And what do you put in it? Oh yeah, and then you put the yellow in here. So in the meantime, I'm going to put some milk in a pot, which is behind us over here. And yeah, I'm gonna get milk. Right, this feels real weird, guys. Okay, so I don't know if you can hear a baby in the background. Can you hear, guys? 
little Zuri. Zuri is her newborn baby. Yeah. Um, Don't embarrass me. She's not actually crying, but she's she's giving us like, hi, I'm here. Yeah. But of course, I'm sure you guys won't mind if she joins us. If she's okay, that's a cry. Isn't that's it? that's a cry. right. So she can hear us. So why don't you bring her on? <laughs> okay, mama. See, I've got a special thing that I do with babies when they cry, and it works every time. I know I look crazy, and this wasn't a part of the plan. <laughs> but you know, mummy's making milk and doing other things right now, and then you stop. I think it's more. Oh, All right, okay, mama. You just have to sit like that. It's called the dip and sway. It works for every baby. <laughs> They used to call me the baby whisperer, honestly. Hi, hi mama. Dip and sway. And then when you stop, it's all the catastrophe. My knees are not like they used to be, guys. Otherwise, <laughs> oh my, okay, oh my, oh my. Okay, meanwhile, um, I'm gonna continue with these eggs. <laughs> Christmas is all about. So now it's time for whisking. Whisking. Wait, wait, wait. We need to do sugar. Oh, so it's one cup of sugar. I think we need to whisk, whisk first. first though, okay. yeah? You can already tell that it's just not my thing. <laughs> it's not really my thing. Now we're gonna uh, put a cup of sugar to it. So let's pour oh, this. This is for us, but it's gonna be two cups. <laughs> I need to. So what? So in terms of like you moving here, what made you decide to move? To be honest, I love traveling, mm -hmm. and it's I've always really wanted to like live abroad somewhere. Mm -hmm. I like America, but not to live there like for holiday. Yeah. So I wanted somewhere kind of in between the UK and America, and I kind of perfect. Yeah, yeah, it really is, yeah. guys. It really, really is. It's perfect. I feel that way about. I could only. I feel like I could only live in LA or Toronto. Yeah. Because I don't know. I just. You want to feel like home. I remember when I was walking down. When I first came to Toronto, I was walking down the street and I was like, "Hold on, there's a fish and chip shop." Like, wait, you, hold on, you found a fish and chip shop? Yes. <laughs> so I said to my friend, I was like. I didn't know you guys had fish and chip shops here. And they're like, yeah, we grew up with it. I'm like, come again. Nah, you, it was, have you actually been in that fish and chip shop? I have. And it. it was good. It was good. It was exactly like ours. Okay, yeah. That, One and oh, a half is good. Right. Yeah. Someone is watching this screaming. I know. This is looking good. Woo! Okay, so now we're going to um, add some milk um, to this mixture over here. And I think apparently we're supposed to add it to this just so that it's like, you know, it has a bit of a, it doesn't make it too thick. Ooh, I'm actually getting really excited. Oh, no, this is, this um, is and then I'll pour the rest of that in. Yeah. It's kind of reminding me of how, you know when you're making like Jamaican cornmeal porridge? Oh the, yeah. You know what I mean? The, yeah. the, the consistency of it. That's not roasting. Okay, okay, so now we need to transfer it into another pot because we just realised it's not going to be big enough. But apparently, you're supposed to pour this in bit by bit so that it doesn't curdle. So, the heat is on low. Let's pour the rest in. Yeah. The vanilla is over here. Did he say how much? It was like a. Yeah. Alright, we're just going to vibe it. We're going to. This is. Listen. This is I know what vanilla tastes like, so. We're just gonna go two little drops yeah, like that. That's good. Yep. Yeah. Now it's time for some spiced rum. And then apparently we're supposed to put half a cup or depending on how much alcohol you want it. But it's Christmas. Yeah. So let's put as much. Oh wait, oh you wanna go there? <laughs> oh by the way, just disclaimer, she is not breastfeeding. Yeah, I'm not breastfeeding. There's about this much in there. A shot glass. Come on, Keish. A shot glass. Uh, really? A little bit more, a little bit. Look okay, alright, fine. Yeah, yeah. Alright, yeah, cool. So that's like less than half 
half a glass. Let's go. Check on that. Yeah. Now it's time to mix, mix it up. Mix. And then this. We're gonna put is it a cup and a half? Um, I think so, yeah. So maybe like one of these? Yeah, okay. One of these. This is the cream guys. More material the better. Thanks for being the mixer <laughs> on this because it would just be a mess with me. I'm just not a mixer. Yeah. Okay. Okay, you know we got to do another taste test. So I'm going to rinse our spoons. Yes. Alright, let's do this. Alright, let's hope. Oh my god, I hope we didn't go too strong in the alcohol. Okay, one, two, three. That sweetness has hit me again, but it's better. It's not as sweet. It's better, it's not as sweet. It's good. I think it's perfect. It's good. I, I would want it to be thicker. Do you know? Yeah, I think it'll be thicker, but how would we get it thicker? I don't know. I think we put it back, back on fire. Yeah. Good Guys, shot. this tastes really good. The way that I can, if you've never had um, eggnog before, I would just say that it's very, it's kind of like a thinner custard. Yeah. But it's that like, yeah, it's a like nice a, touch. It's like a custard, Bailey's kind of vibe thing going on. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. So now we're going to place this back in the pot and we'll be back in a second. We're just going to thicken this up a little. I can tell you what Christmas is all about. That's not roasting. <laughs> so, so here we have our Christmas eggnog. eggnog. We need to give this a name though. Uh, other than COVID eggnog. Yeah. What name do you want to give it? The... Ghetto eggnog. <laughs> Ghetto eggnog. <laughs> Tier 5. No. Tier 5? <laughs> oh, hell. <laughs> so basically, this is eggnog. Sugary eggnog. Oh, sh what, sugary... Well, no, something without the word sugar in it. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's just too well, obvious that that's way. That's right, what's going with that. So here's our eggnog made our way. Yeah. Um, let's get a taste test on this. We've added some ice, by the way. Toronto style. Yeah. The ice the made ice. it less sweet. It, I think it, I, think I it want. Was... I liked it when it was warmer. Yeah, me too. I think. So I'm assuming. Damn good though. It's so I can't good. Lie. It's so good. I can't taste the alcohol. I'm about to drop a drop a. You want to drop a liquor? liquor. We can get. <laughs> okay, that's so I think like a lid full. Yeah. Oh, damn. <laughs> Should we mix that with a... Oh, Lord Jesus, hold on. <laughs> this is why we don't have How do you guys do it? <laughs> so, yeah, so here's what we're going to do. We <laughs> here's what we're not going to do. <laughs> here's what we're not going to do is add ice. And for us, you guys, because someone out there might like it with yeah, ice. Yeah, yeah. Okay, but for me, I liked the temperature when it was warmer. Yeah. And also, we know that the longer you leave it, the thicker it becomes. So for me, I feel like eggnog, slightly more warmer. Wait, 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 cheers. Should we cheers? cheers? Yeah. Yeah, happy Christmas, y'all. Merry Christmas. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Much better warmer. Yeah. Much better warmer. You guys might like it. <laughs> you guys might like it with, with ice. ice, but I don't know, no mm. ice. Mm -mm. Rum. A little less rum. My fault. A little less rum, but then someone out here might be like, nah. More. more. Someone but, might say more. Yeah, but because I'm not an alcohol, we're not alcohol. Yeah. alcohol. So I do a little less rum yeah. and a little less sugar. A lot less sugar. A lot less sugar. It needs one, guys. One cup. It needs one. It's good. So thank you guys for what thanks guys for watching and um, thank you so much for joining me. <laughs> Sorry, it's the con it's, it's the con yet. It's, it's, a it's a run. <laughs> thank you guys for joining us. Um making our special eggnog. Toronto style. Um, Toronto style, British style. Is it British style? It's not, we're okay, Brits, right, isn't it? Yeah, we're always okay. going to be Brits. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. And guys, make sure that when you guys, if you're watching this and you're making this at home, if there's anything that we missed out, please let us know in the yeah, comments in below. The comments. I'm sure they will. And if you guys are watching this and 
it worked out well for you tag me on instagram and remember as i always say we get better not better merry christmas amen sister